Hi everyone, I'm Priya Samani, a child mentor, a storyteller and a counsellor and here I am with another quick session to find out what kind of a parent are you. So last year has been a roller coaster ride for all of us, right? We've had so many challenges to figure out what's happening, to suddenly be at home, not getting connected to our parents, our families, adapting to the new normal. There were a lot of things that we had to cater to and deal with. Now in that scenario, most of us I'm sure, we all have operated from this fear mindset. Now what is this fear mindset? Oh, don't go there, you might contract COVID. Don't go to these crowded places. Wear a mask, sanitize. There were so many things that we were doing. We had these healthy drinks at home and whatnot. Why? Because we had this fear in our heads that, oh my God, I don't want to contract this. I don't want to be one of them. But why? Why do we operate from that fear mindset? What exactly is this mindset? Don't you think this is actually like sowing those seeds of negativity that, oh my God, this might happen, which has actually not happened also. But we start fearing it. We start fearing about things we consume. You know, in, in our childhood, maybe we were told that don't use this or don't use that or use this sparingly because we have been conditioned with that upbringing or that thought process that maybe this might not be enough or maybe this may affect you detrimentally. The source, the root cause itself is so negative. So now think about it from the child's point of view. How do we get this fear mindset when we deal with the kids? Don't do that, you might just fall. Oh, be careful, you might just get hurt. That thought that the child might get hurt was not even there in his mind. But we only put that thought because of our own fear, because of our own lack. And one more thing that we constantly remind the kids is that, oh, you are not enough by simply comparing them. The moment you compare your child with somebody else, the instant thought is, oh, am I not good enough? Why does my mother think that this so-and-so is better than me? Or I should follow this so-and-so? Why? Why can't we change our mindset and maybe sow those seeds of abundance in our kids? Think about it. What is abundance? Abundance is simply that fact that I have enough. Why do you want your child to think that maybe he does not have enough? He has enough. If somebody asks you, oh, what gift do you want? Why do you want to say nothing? If you don't want the gift, just say I have everything. It's the same thing, but differently expressed and thought through. When a child operates from an abundance mindset, then the child, of course, is more confident, more positive. He has a clear inclination towards achieving what he really wants to achieve. And believe me or not, the child himself attracts those things. Just because he believes in those things. Just because the mindset is right. Just because his thoughts are flowing towards a positive direction. So what kind of a parent are you? Do you let your child operate from this lack? That maybe mm, I might not be enough. Or maybe you are not enough. Think about it. Or do you let your child operate from this abundance mindset? When I have everything under the sun, I just need to work towards it to achieve it. If I really want to, I could. Instead of pushing them to you should, you should, you should, you shouldn't, you shouldn't. You just tell them you could if you really want to because you have it in you. It's the same thing. Maybe what we are trying to achieve is the same. The end result is the same. But it's the way we approach a situation. Try doing it in your own lives also. The moment you start operating from an abundance mindset where you believe that everything that is happening is happening for a reason, everything is fine, I have everything, there's nothing that I really don't have and if I don't have also, I can achieve it. I can attract those things in my life. The same vibration, the same energy goes to the child also. So see how you can tweak your words See how you can address your kids and you yourself can operate from an abundance mindset and not a fear mindset. 
Trust me, when you start doing it, you'll see the difference yourself in your own mental outlook. You'll start feeling more positive. You'll start loving yourself too. And the child himself will believe that yes, everything is achievable and I can do it if I really want to. Share your experiences with us and do try it and find these interesting ways of talking to your child. Remember by operating from an abundance mindset. So figure out what kind of a parent are you? Do you operate from a fear mindset or an abundance mindset? And what kind of mindset could possibly help your kids? And stay tuned to find out more. So we are looking forward to hearing your experiences and understanding what kind of a mindset do you have and what works for you and your child.